Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys what I think is the ultimate uh, TV soundbar hack of a product, um, and in fact a great home audio um, product as well, uh, and that is this Arilic S50 Pro uh, network media player of sorts. Um, absolutely brilliant device, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it does, how it works, and why I think it makes such a fantastic um, soundbar system for your big screen TV and also an audio media player rather than just getting your typical Bluetooth type soundbar systems. So um, stay with me and I'll show you why this thing I reckon is about the best invention since electricity. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, so you want better, you want, you decide you want better sound coming out of your TV. You've got a big living room, etc., etc. Now, obviously, there's heaps of stuff on the market. You can buy add on um, Bluetooth type, uh, uh, surround, even surround sound uh, speaker systems that are even manufactured by the likes of Sony, Panasonic, etc., and lots of third party products. But the thing with those is they're essentially just um, to give you the audio for the TV. But if there was a product out there that you could have your own speakers, whatever type of speakers you like for say, you normally use for your for your audio and music systems, and you could use those speakers to connect to your TV and basically get the functionality like, functionality like a sound bar, but also the funct full functionality of an audio system with heaps and heaps of uh, music audio sources all built in and all accessible and controllable from any of your phones and tablets that you have in the household. And this is the product that will actually do that. So I'll just show you how. Okay, so this is the Arilic S50 Pro product. It's quite, quite small, quite compact, as you can see here, very small. And you'll see here you've got your various connections on the back, which I might put up a picture of in more detail. Um, now what this essentially is, it's like a media streamer, but it also has additional uh, inputs on the back. So you can have analog RCA inputs, and also most importantly, you've got an optical input on the back as well. Um, so the way that um, I have this, I've actually got three of these units around the house because they connect to your Wi-Fi network as well and you can control them and actually join them together and even have the same music playing out of two of these at the same, or three of them at the same time. Now the way that I use this is in my um, main living area here we have a um, a TV with an uh, optical output on the TV. It happens to be an LG branded TV, but most TVs now have an optical output. So I connect the optical output of the TV here into the input of this device. So that immediately becomes one of the audio sources for this device. Now this particular one here is does not have an amplifier built in. The A50 Pro of this does have the amplifiers as well. But I actually wanted to decide for myself what kind of amplifier and amplifier units I wanted to use in the different parts of my house here. So this one here, I've actually paired it with um, in our main living area here and up in our, where our swimming pool area is, I've paired it with this little beautiful little Fosse audio amplifier here. And as you'll see, they're actually, they're actually um, almost exactly the same size and then they make a beautiful little audio a complete audio system package. So I've essentially got this S50 uh, analog outputs connected to this Fosse amplifier unit here uh, and then connecting that directly to the speakers I have in each of our different locations in the house. Now the beauty of this is that when we just leave it into the default, uh, I put it in a the optical line input default on this unit, whenever anyone turns the TV on and off they're getting the television sound and audio, and it's fantastic for just audio speech on the, the TV, and also for music, music videos, etc. on TV. Now, but if I want to uh, listen to some music, come and sit down, have a coffee in the living room here, and I want music, I can pick up my phone, which of course, or any tablet we've got nearby, and open the app that, that's available with this, and I can select um, Spotify, Amazon TV, and then internet radio stations, millions of free ones, that's what I mainly use. Um, and you can even select um, music which is on a USB stick that's plugged into the back of this unit and you can navigate through your tracks and select music on there also. So it's actually a fantastic music um, 
audio source as well as being basically a, uh, a product that can just feed out to your to your speakers and connect to your TV. So essentially for me it gives me one product and I can have one set of speakers in a nice living area here which is becomes the speakers and audio for the television when we want to watch TV or listen to even sound on the TV or if I want to use it to listen to hi-fi audio in the same room here. And there's not many products out there that can do that so seamlessly as this and I'll show you on the app very shortly. So let's have a closer look. Now one thing, a couple of things before I go further in this review, um, I'm not sponsored by this product, this supplier or anyone whatsoever, I'm just putting this information up for you, my viewers, to um, find out and understand um, the product better and, and for something I think is just a fantastic product that everyone should be using. So. Um, if you find it useful, do please, you know, click the like button and also please do subscribe to my channel, helps me out immensely. Um, but yeah, please just enjoy this info and if you have, you have got questions or you want to clarify anything, just drop me a question and I will answer your questions. So let's carry on. Okay, to just elaborate on the um, amplifier connections coming out of this unit, if you go with this S50 version, which doesn't have the speaker outputs, uh, you feed into a little amplifier like the one I have, have here, for example. This is a, a Fosse BT30D amplifier, which just came off Amazon, actually. Um, but it's a brilliant little amplifier, I have to say. It's got a left and right channel, but it's also got a... Um, a subwoofer output and I'm using this in this living area here to um, to feed a passive subwoofer as well as two pairs of main speakers and you, I know you're saying hang on two pairs of main speakers it's only got a left and a right okay normally you do only connect one speaker to your left and one to your right but because I wanted to have decent um, mid and bass audio uh, in this room with a pair of Wolfdale speakers I have on the wall and I also wanted to have a good mid uh, a voice channel uh, frequency uh, for when we're just using this to watch television. Um, I have connected a, in parallel to my um, bookshelf type speakers a pair of very small speakers but they're, they're really tuned for mid-range voice frequency uh, and they that works perfectly fine it's just like having multiple speakers through a crossover on a left or a right speaker so I have actually in this living area here I have a two left speakers two right speakers and a a passive subwoofer which is powered from this amplifier here so uh, now again with this s50 unit here you can even uh, you've got a um, sub sub output here on the RCA so you can actually connect this directly to an active subwoofer that has its own amplifier built in as well and that that's a great way to go as well but I found that the passive one works for me here so um so that's really the basis of how you've got to set this up if you're using this S50 um, pro version here you need your separate amp, ampl separate amplifier unit here again if you get the A50 version of this um, a relic product it has uh, your left and right speaker outputs so all you need is the the little box itself and a couple of bookshelf speakers or something like that and away you go okay one additional point in regards to an external amplifier set up with using uh, this Arillic S50 um, the way that I have this set up when we have this just sitting on the shelf in default we always leave it in optical input mode that just means that whenever anyone turns the television on um, the kids or the wife comes through and uses the TV it, you'll get the TV sound out the speakers straight away automatically it does mean that this amplifier and this unit is actually on all the time now that might sound um, terrible but these are both ultra low power devices the amplifier is a class D amplifier so it can run all day every day just sitting there there isn't any real noticeable hum coming out of it when it's sitting there in its um, sort of unused mode without any any input coming out of this um, but I do have another uh, one of these S50 units in our, our master bedroom area and I have a slightly different amplifier which is slightly larger and that actually has an automated on off control built into that amplifier so when the audio source stops that unit actually that amplifier powers down but you don't you don't really don't need to do that if you've got a little amplifier that, like this one here you can leave it on all the time it's not going to matter it's not going to break the bank in terms of your electricity consumption or anything like that so just to give you clarification on that 
Okay, to just give you a quick picture of how you have this unit set up, uh, not too many connections here. We're simply going to connect your power to the unit here. Uh, we're going to connect the optical output um, from the TV into the optical input here. And we're going to connect the two RCA outputs here from the preamp out into our little Fosse amplifier here. Um, I have got a USB plugged in as well because I'm going to give you a quick demo of that on the um, mobile phone just to show you navigation of music on there. So let's do that. So just here you can see uh, with the unit all hooked up how just really small and compact this is. It just takes up no space. Fantastic in a small apartment. Um, our S50 unit there just sitting on top of the little Fosse amplifier which I have here. Fantastic setup. That there entire is, is the only thing sitting here that powers all of our speakers here. So four speakers in total plus a sub all powered out of this and controlled out of this. So all the audio from the TV and uh, anytime we listen to music, having a party, it all comes from this little magic little box here. It's amazing how small this is and how well it actually works for this size device. Now this, uh, this Aurelic unit does come with its own little remote control here, this little device, but I virtually never use this um, because I'm only really controlling the volume out of here on my smartphone directly here. Uh, and the only other caveat here with this setup is that um, if you're using your normal TV remote or whatever other devices with your TV, um, Normally your TV remote would be controlling your volume on your TV. Now because we're actually wanting to control the volume in this device, we actually, um, anyway, we use a third party learning remote in our living area here. And so instead of the, um, on TV control here, instead of having this program to control volume on the TV, I actually have programmed it, this uh, learning remote to control the volume of this Aurelic device here, basically by programming from the volume control on the original factory remote. So what that means is that whenever you use the TV, turn it on and play with the TV, turn the, vo go to, turn the volume but button up and down here, you're actually controlling the volume on this device here, which I can show you in just a moment. So that's just one caveat uh, in terms of how you have to set this up to use it as a um, audio source for your TV as a TV soundbar sort of output uh, rather than your own TV volume control. Okay, so we've got the device, it's all set up. Uh, at, at the moment, uh, inside the app as well, I can see that I've currently got the uh, default audio source for this Aurelic as optical. So as I've mentioned earlier, it means whenever we use the TV, we're automatically going to get the TV sound out. But I'm going to do a, a bit of close up of this in just a moment. But I can go right into here right now, for example, and I can select USB input here, and straight away, I'm now playing music from the USB stick on this device. And we can zoom in there and see what we're actually playing. So let's do a bit of close up of that now. Okay, so the last thing to show you guys really is just a close up of the um, the app itself. Um, if I just go back here, one, so you can see we can actually have multiple Aurelic devices around the household. So we've got the one unit we've been looking at, which is in our, our family room, living room area here. We have one in our master bedroom and we have one in our pool area as well. But if I just click on the uh, family room one here, once again, that's coming to the USB track, which we can play and away we go with USB music. But if I want to go back here and we want to go back to switch back to being our TV audio, we just put that back to optical as default. So now we'll have the um, audio from the TV playing through the, um, the speaker and amp now. But I'm just going to go to Wi-Fi. So here we've got the option of all sorts of music sources, Amazon Music, Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, tune in and my favorite one is internet radio um, which is the one I use most of the time I can go into any of hundreds of different uh, uh, radio stations here and select whatever I like and away it goes now uh, the fantastic thing here is which I'll go back here a couple of steps to our USB and I'll select the USB source again 
and I'll show you one last feature of this setup which is absolutely fantastic. If I go to the device option here I can click and add plus and I can add in the pool area and it automatically joins together now the amplifier here in the family room and the one in the pool area and we're now playing the music in two different locations at once and we can even control the volume in each of those locations at different levels it's just spectacular I mean to get multi-room audio system like this for for units here that costs in the region of about 240 US dollars each is just absolutely spectacular so anyway that gives you a bit of an outline of, of how the app works here So you can see right now we've got the TV on and uh, we've got the Arillic feeding to our, our speakers just the, um, the TV audio. So at the moment I'm watching music video and just listening to the, uh, the music on there. Now I decide, okay, I want to go and uh, listen to um, some music on my uh, USB stick. So all I've got to do is go into my app and select that. And there we go. Now we've got music playing from our... USB library of music and we can also do others which I'll show you in just a moment so you can see how that is how easy that is to to have this work as a soundbar for your TV but also a fantastic audio source for your your music in your living area so to summarize this product if you really um, are looking for something really simple to use and easy to use that will allow you to have just one set of speakers in say a living area that you use for your music uh, when you just want to listen to music and also to be uh, the speaker output for all of your television setup uh, for even watching normal TV, uh, music videos, movies, etc. Um, this is a fantastic little product to do it. Um, I don't think there's anything else in the market, to be honest, that can do that so simply and so seamlessly as what I've shown you here and with the app. So um, really do recommend this product. Um, and once again, I, I really hope you guys found this useful. Um, please click the like button. And uh, once again, it does help me immensely if you guys um, click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. See you later.